The NHS is one of the UK's most energy-intensive organisations, spending more than £750 million on energy costs each year. Salix Finance provides financial support to NHS trusts and foundation trusts to enable hospitals to achieve significant reductions in energy bills and carbon emissions and also improve patient environments. Over 600,000 people passed through the doors of Frimley Park Hospital last year. And keeping those patients warm and the hospital functioning and well lit amounts to a colossal energy bill of nearly £2 million a year. Now any saving and reduction on that cost could be transferred to frontline care. So Frimley Health NHS Foundation Trust and Salix Finance have come up with a programme to get those energy bills down now and in the future. Salix provide interest free funding for energy efficiency measures. So um, a public sector organisation can come to us uh, seeking funding for energy efficiency measures. So Frimley Health NHS Foundation Trust are an interesting case study because they've been working with us for a number of years now looking at reducing their carbon emissions across their estate strategy. Clients also get to access Salix Finance's extensive technical knowledge. Today, Tim is meeting Gillian Brown, Hospital Environment Manager. So you'll be sort of seeking further uh, funding for opportunities on the west side of the campus? Energy is by far our biggest impact. Um, we use a lot of gas and electric. Our emissions here at Frimley Park are around 9,000 tonnes uh, of CO2 per annum. The, the, the vast majority of that is made up from gas and electric. And this level of emissions is a sector-wide problem. Salix Finance have, have acknowledged that there's a huge opportunity across NHS England. Um, they're, they're spending around £750 million a year on energy uh, and we've identified that as, as a huge uh, opportunity for us to, to try and support the NHS in reducing uh, that bill and also to, to achieve carbon savings. So how do you go about solving an emissions problem of that size and scope? We have a corporate social responsibility um, to look at wastage and across the site. Um, we have national targets that we need to meet, so we have to reduce our emissions by 34% by 2020, which is a huge target. Um, and we also have internal motivation. Uh, we're supported by the board, we have a great team who want to minimise the energy wastage at the hospital. We've implemented around 20 projects. Um, one of the projects was the courtyard doors and we have done that throughout the trust to stop leakage of heat in the colder weather. Uh, we have carried out lighting projects and we've also insulated all the pipework on the roofs as well. And this very practical approach adds up to savings for the trust. So we've had over a million pounds worth of investment from Salix um, and on you know, the, the basis of those we've been able to achieve about £300,000 of annual savings from, the, from all the projects. And this emphasis on carbon emissions and meeting directives has translated into a win for patients. Staff nurse Olivia Watchorn works in the very busy endoscopy unit. Beforehand it was very dark and dingy, especially if we have an emergency situation, we need to get cannulas in quickly, um, the lighting is already there, we don't need to um, fiddle about with the lighting in any way, it's, it's bright enough. There's some real benefits for the patients here um, in what we're trying to achieve. Um, we, we improve the heating, then they get better comfort, we put in LED lighting, then the quality of the light is better for them and for the, uh, the staff. Thank you.